How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some spooky incidents that are sure to leave you on edge. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more mysterious content just like this. Reddit user Cody Allen Phelps experienced some spooky incidents during his visit to the Pirate House in Savannah, Georgia. In this particular image he uploaded, it shows the black silhouette of a person standing in what was thought to be a completely empty hallway. On the night in question, Cody Allen Phelps and his family went to try out the Pirate House, which is said to be one of the most haunted restaurants in Georgia. After the family finished their meal, they decided to take a tour. Using a Motorola droid, Cody snapped pictures as they went. When he went through his photos later on, he noticed that while in a completely empty hallway, there was someone there. In the photo, there's clearly an eerie figure lurking in the hallway. Its lower half is a solid black form, and it almost looks like it's rising out of the shadows. The Pirate House is an original building from 1754, known as an unsavory tavern where fights, brawls and even murders took place. It was also the location where many men were shanghaied. Below the tavern were tunnels that led to the docks. These men would visit the tavern for a strong drink. They'd be given drink after drink until they blacked out. When they woke up the next day, they found themselves on a ship out on the ocean. The poor men would be forced into working on the ship for months on end. Could this be the spirit of one of those shanghai men? Would you be game to visit this restaurant and find out? Let me know in the comments section below. This hair-raising photo was shared by Reddit user JustSin. The picture was taken by her mother's goddaughter in the apartment where she lives alone. The resident kept telling others she felt as though there was a presence in her place and that she was being watched. She stated that every so often she would see shadows out the corner of her eye. However, if she looked straight at the place where she had thought she'd seen a shadow, there was nothing there. One evening, she took a selfie and noticed a shadow in the background. She was completely alone in her apartment at the time, but there, standing behind her, is a solid black form. It's featureless and void of colour. So is she really alone, or does she in fact share the apartment with an unknown roommate? Spooky incidents happen when you least expect them. Mum, Maritza Elizabeth, received a shock so spooky it was impossible to sleep afterwards. On the night in question, Maritza put her son to sleep like usual. A little later, she peeked at the nursery camera and was given the fright of her life there was a baby in the crib with her son. She ran into the nursery to check where she was met with the sight of her son sleeping peacefully, alone. However, each time she looked at the nursery camera, she would see this baby in the crib. Maritza Elizabeth was so scared she barely slept that night. But this is one of those cases where something very spooky has a very logical explanation. The next morning, as she was changing the crib sheet, Maritza realised that her husband had forgotten to use the mattress cover. The ghost baby was, in fact, a picture of a baby on the mattress itself, visible through the sheet. So thankfully, there was no spirit baby visiting this little boy while he slept. What would you have done if you woke up and saw this on the nursery camera? Let me know in the comments section below. This video has been shared by Reddit user Revan Tex, showing a scary incident one evening in Boston. When you watch this video, you can see three triangular shaped lights shining in the distance, flickering off and on. These lights begin as only two, before a third one eventually appears. There were only two of them. Now another one come. They now form a perfect triangle, Shortly after, the third light moves closer to the centre light and then returns to the original place. 
You can hear the shock and slight fear in the uploader's voice as he says UFO. He's both stunned and puzzled by what he's seeing. Wow, UFO. Some viewers suggested the phenomenon might simply be a landing pattern of numerous aircraft at the nearby Logan International Airport. However, others believe the event is too bizarre to have a rational explanation, firmly placing this sighting on aliens. Are these strange lines from a visiting spaceship? Or is it as one viewer suggested, the landing pattern at Logan Airport on runway 33L? Wow. UFO. While preparing to watch a movie, TikTok user Um Sam, I guess, experiences a string of spooky incidents. All she wanted was orange juice, and as an avid TikTok user, she had her camera rolling as she went to fetch it. You see the uploader open the refrigerator and grab the carton. Then, as she sets it on the counter, the water bottle on the opposite side of the counter slides off onto the floor. Hey, man, there's orange juice. Can I get some popcorn? Within a few seconds, she sees and hears the door to the laundry area close. Okay. Oh. She investigates, but there's nothing there. Hello? Upon closing the door again, she notices that her furniture is rocking in her living room. No way, no way, no way, no way, no, no way, no way. Suspecting foul play or a practical joke, she runs to look behind the furniture. There's still nothing there. Finally, a box tumbles off the shelf in the background. Oh, no, 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 no. Understandably freaked out, she runs to her bedroom. The whole way you can hear her saying, no, no, no. <laughs> so who or what was in her home causing these spooky incidents to happen? Since this video went viral, um, Sam, I guess, has posted a number of updates regarding the strange events. In this video, she updates her audience and explains that the reason she was filming in the first place is because her grandmother, which she can't visit because of the pandemic, likes to get video updates. Um, likes to know what we're, what's going on in our lives right now. So I just filmed that to show her what was going on. At the very end of this vlog, a hat flies off the shelf in the background. Shut up. Oh my God. Several days later, the uploader appears to be testing if she can evoke the alleged ghost on command. She aims the camera at a bottle of water sitting on the ground. She then asks if it can be moved, and right on cue, the bottle does indeed move. This happened several times in the short clip. In a recent TikTok video, um, Sam, I guess, shares a photo she took in her room. She claims she was trying to catch orbs on camera, given the recent bizarre happenings. In the photo, you can see a grey face with big black eyes. The user says she has no clothes or anything in the closet that would resemble an eerie grey face. Naturally, this series of bizarre and haunting clips have garnered, um, Sam, I guess, quite a following and thousands of views. Some of these new viewers claim that the whole haunting is staged, pointing to one rather damning video that shows someone hiding behind a chair, seemingly pulling a string right as a door appears to open. Um, Sam, I guess, has defended the video, claiming it was her sister looking for a phone charger, pulling a cord, which made it look like she was holding a string. She claims that her sister was terrified when the door swung open. Whether this is true or not remains unclear. The TikTok user still insists that her home is haunted, and continues to document the bizarre events. Wait, no way. On a trip to the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West Virginia, Reddit user Goody G took a photo in the lobotomy recovery room. In the photo, it looks like a man is peeking his head around the corner. But this was the first tour in months and there was no one around. The Trans-Allegheny Asylum has long been known as a haunted location. However, very seldom do we see actual proof of any non-living souls or others. 
When you look to the left of this photo, there is someone peeking around the corner, but where their face should be is all blurry, as if they couldn't fully materialise. To make this even stranger, when a band was filming a video for one of their songs Inside the Asylum, a cameraman took a photo of a guitar player. Look at the reflection in the window on the right side. This is not just a reflection of a person standing there as you can see through the chest area. The head and face are also translucent. When compared to the photo that Goody G shared, the resemblance is uncanny. Could this be a spirit that lingers on in the lobotomy recovery room of this old asylum? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Before we take a look at some footage of a super eerie shadow figure caught on camera in a basement, remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll be notified every time we upload our mysterious and scary videos. The credit for this video goes to Drew Flo. It was shot in the basement of his home after he heard noises coming from down there. The uploader takes his camera into the basement to investigate. He looks about the room to see if he can find the source of the strange noises. You can see toys scattered around on the floor, as well as some very unsettling artwork on the walls. <coughs> Drew notes that no one's been down there all day. I know, nobody's been down here all day. However, if you watch the video in slow motion, an eerie figure makes itself known. At the 57 second mark in the clip, a dark shadow with piercing wide eyes can be seen peering from around the corner. It's easy to conclude that this is the eerie figure that's been making the strange noises in the basement. But what is it? A spirit of a former owner of the home? A demon perhaps? Love to get your opinions on this bizarre piece of footage in the comments section below. If you want to see some more freaky things caught on camera, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise there's a scary playlist right there. Now if you want to get your name scrolling along the top there, consider supporting our Patreon campaign. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 